for the first time ever, scientists have been able to slow down the progression of one of the most devastating neurological disorders, Huntington's. So let's talk about it. Huntington's is a genetic disorder that can affect entire families, and it's due to a mutation in a single gene. If we think back to our DNA as a cookbook for every single protein our bodies need, people with Huntington's have a very peculiar mistake in that cookbook. Unlike other mutations where one letter in our DNA code has been switched for another or deleted altogether, the mutations in Huntington's patients come from having an extended CAG repeat. But unfortunately, this also means Huntington's mutations exhibit something known as anticipation, meaning that with every generation of Huntington's patients, those CAG repeats increase, and the chances of developing this disorder earlier in life and in a more devastating manner also increase with every generation. So what exactly is Huntington's? It has often been described as a type of hereditary dementia combined with Parkinson's. The reason why is because it particularly affects the neurons that are responsible for movement. Some of the first symptoms are involuntary muscle movements, spasms, or slurred speech. And as the disease progresses, symptoms get more and more severe, leaving most patients needing 24-7 care. So how did scientists for the first time create a therapy for Huntington's? Well, they thought there is the problem. DNA, or the cookbook, is really hard to change, and the final protein, or the final dish, is also quite hard to fix. But in the middle, there's messenger RNA, or your shopping list that you need to assemble before you make your final dish. And they realized that this is the weakest link. This next part is gonna sound slightly scary, but I promise you, it's not as bad as you think. In order to deliver this gene therapy, you need a very good postman. Patients needed to undergo surgery for anywhere from 12 to 18 hours in order to deliver a type of microRNA that is able to find the messenger RNA of a Huntington protein and target it for degradation. This type of microRNA just snatches your shopping list and then you end up not making it at all. The results are utterly fascinating and according to the BBC reporters, researchers were actually getting teary-eyed talking about it as data showed that three years after surgery, there was an average or 75% slowing down of disease progression, which could mean that patients could enjoy decades of high quality of life compared to just months or years. The study included 29 patients and the results are still in the preliminary phase, but are extremely exciting. And researchers are already thinking of how to adapt this gene therapy for young people that know they will develop this disorder, but are not exhibiting symptoms yet.